Hey guys, this is MDM here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play. What the freaking. Uh, damn it. No, I didn't press any buttons. Oh god, okay, right. It, yeah, this is MDM here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Most Three Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we got to the 12th floor of the f Mount Freeze. Probably the easiest dungeon we've actually ever came to. I mean, it's not that entirely hard from what I've been doing so far. But I bet it's going to get a whole lot harder as soon as we progress through this place. But I'm starting to... Oh. Okay, we're just going to have to wait a minute. Until we wake up. And back in action. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's go up these stairs. Because, uh, well, that was quick, actually. So there isn't that many floor... Oh, what? What the... What the, the, up, up, the, up, the stairs are right there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so we are making we're making pretty good progress so far. I mean, those stairs were relatively quick to find. So let's hope the other stairs are relatively quick to find because we'll make it through this dungeon in no time. Which we are almost well, we've almost done this dungeon anyway. There's only 20 floors. That, well, this dungeon only consists of 20 floors. And that was relatively easy, <laughs> just to kill that guy I and mean, one hit with my hidden power. My hidden power! My hidden power! Yeah, so, so um, oh god, what? We haven't come across you yet, how powerful. Well, I think confusion is good on those. Yeah, I knew it. I knew confusion would be good, because they're poison type, and any poison type Pokemon is resistant. Or is unresistant to confusion or psychic ability. And that's great. <laughs> you used that friggin' stupid move on me. Now I can only use hidden power. That's all I. Oh. Well, thanks, Absol. You helped me there. And I'm ridiculously getting low on PP, which isn't good. Stop doing that. Not cool. That's not hip, dude. That stuff can paralyze you too, so. Well, that move that he just. Oh, what? Oh, no! No, you didn't use Poison Tail on me, did you? I think it's Poison Tail, I think. I'm gonna have to use Rest now, aren't I? Yeah, to get rid of that poison. Rest is actually a good move because it helps get rid of your statuses or. You like your poison stats or whatever. So that's kind of cool that that has, but I had a heal seed. Damn it! I just wasted a move and now I had a heal seed when I could have used that to get rid of my poison. God, I'm so stupid. Dude, leave him alone, man. He's the weakest Pokemon in my team. Don't go attacking the weak Pokemon. Attack the strong Pokemon because you know you're just going to get your ass kicked. Alright, so let's go up these stairs. And, oh, wait, what? Where are we? We're in a mysterious place with a Kangaskhan. Where's Absol? He's disappeared. No, he, he can't leave me. He can't abandon me like this. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I think there's only five floors left to go. Like in, um,. The Frosty Forest. So yeah, it's pretty much just like the Frosty Forest, but only this time there's only one enemy and it's one of these guys and I really don't know how powerful these guys are, but they look pretty mean. They actually do, they don't look too friendly. Um I don't know what the f but there's one sneaking up behind Charmander. Yeah, you dead, no problem. I just don't want Absol to die, because if Absol dies, then we're all fucked. Because I know how weak he is at the moment. Seeing as he's not the strongest Pokemon we have. Obviously, because he's new. And, well, I think it all depends what level you're at. It automatically sets that Pokemon to that level to be a relatively closer level to them what you are. I mean, that's what they do in most RPGs. When you get a new teammate, you normally end up 
having that teammate that you've just obtained, acquired, or or had, or no, just got on your team. <laughs> yeah, basically that. Um, when you get a new team member, the team member's level that you've just um, got on your team has basically gotten to the same level, relatively close to the level that you're at. But he sometimes they're not at the same level that you're at. Sometimes it's different. It all depends, really. But most RPGs they put the teammate that you've got on a level that's relatively close to you. I know there's some games that don't do that. Some games they just set them right back to level one, like Dark Cloud 2, for instance. Yeah, if you've ever played that Dark Chronicle, that's a good game. And I have it. I was going to LP it, but I don't have a, any cables for my capture card. Oh, damn it, no. I mean, I don't want Absol to die, and I'm frozen, so that makes things even worse. Charmander, melt me! Now! You should have melted me. You should have used your ember and then friggin' freed me from that horrible ice chamber. Horrible ice chamber. Um, okay. And now we don't want to be going that way because that's just dead end. There's stairs, and so now I want to go up there. Because hmm. I don't know how long this episode is going to be because I imagine this cutscene that we're now coming up to is going to be really big. And I just managed to avoid that stupid would you like to swap your team members over? No, I would not like to swap my team members over. Because that means that they all go all over in different areas, and I don't want that to happen. I was thinking of getting two dungeons done in this video, because then tomorrow I can do the final dungeon and then finish this LP. I mean, I was thinking of doing that today. But it all depends if I'm busy. I mean, if I'm busy, then I obviously can't do that. But hopefully we have. I am able to do that, because that would be nice if I could get like this dungeon done and the next dungeon done because the next dungeon is relatively the same amount of floors as this dungeon it's only just a few more floors bigger and no don't oh wow you managed to kill that thing well, okay all right this is the last floor I th yeah and we're here this is the last floor we finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Nine Tails is. Well, it looks like a cave to me. It doesn't really look like a summit, does it? There they are. I've spotted Lewis. Alright, I see them. Oh, you finally caught up to us, huh? Uh, Alakazam? It's about time we finally caught up to you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself, I'm itching for a fight. Frightful? Don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Lewis, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this, is, but this too is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them. Hey dude, this is, don't attack us. Cease this at once. Huh? Nine tails? What? What? Nine tails? Th that's nine tails? The legend. It was real. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, nine tails. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that was the legend itself a true event. Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether you can, whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, how, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selflessly bore the full burn up brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon, transformed into a po po 
Pokemon the human, the human lives on. And this, and that human would be, who is the human that you speak of? Lewis, you may relax, it is not you. Oh, finally, we know. Just now, what did you just say? Lewis is not the human that appears in the legend, that is what I said. What? What? What's happening to me? I'm too tense to move. Oof. Oof. Deep breaths. In, out, in, out. Phew. Oh wow, fantastic. That's great. I knew that would that Lewis wasn't involved. I knew it. There's no way that Lewis would do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance become, becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The course of the natural calamites, it exists everywhere. Hey, you! You were wrong! You were wrong to hound and harass Lewis. Yeah, dude. Tell him. Tell him. We're sorry. We got worked up, but... By that Gengar. No, I suspected Gengar right from the start. Lewis just doesn't look like the treacherous type. Ha 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 ha. If only that were true. <laughs> but I must say, you are the you are to be condemned for prevailing the, through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Lewis. Ha ha, excellent. I knew I was right. Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Lewis turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Lewis isn't a human from that legend. Then how did you explain Lewis becoming a Pokemon? Lewis? Who are you? Oh shit, something's happening. Well, the ground's heaving. C quake The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamites are worsening, and the shifting of the ground, it will awaken the beast that embodies the ground, the beast that slept deep on the ground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? <laughs> A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is the Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken sleep after catastrophic battles with the Arcanemi Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, the, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done and we'll be back before you know it. Fine, we're off to quell Groudon. Hey, no, it's, that's our job, dude. And thus, Alakazam's team made their way underground to quell that aw the awakened Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Lewis's team put an end to their long and ardu arduous journey and return to their welcoming rescue base. Rescue team base. Oh uh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, fuck it. No, I can't save. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square... Okay, here, you lot. Why aren't you out there hunting down Lewis's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. They say Lewis's team has gone far, way out, way far out there. If we went, to, went, the best we could hope for is maybe that Lapis Cave. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there, and where I was lost, and where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Lewis's team after that, but those fugitives, do you think they would risk Mount Blaze? They've grown up tough, and I, I can't keep up. Haha. <laughs> okay, what a spineless lot you are. <laughs> You are so full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? You just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk, you guys go. We're out of that. We're out of the, that picture. Our role is to receive word that Lewis about Lewis's demise. Just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Medicham, what's the word? Lewis. Lewis is. Oh, finally, we're finally rid of Lewis. No, it's the opposite. Lewis is back. Okay, what did you say? Oh dear. She's just gonna go down now. Hey, hey, 
over there. Lewis. Sorry about that guys, I've just been out shopping. Well, I did go out shopping just now and um, I got a second hand copy of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. So yeah, that's just where I've been anyway. I'm back now and onward with the story, I guess. There, they're back. Hi everyone, we're back. Phew, we finally made it back. We've gone for so we've been gone for so long. It feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square the rest. Hey frightful. Hmm. Oh it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. Hey, <laughs> what's with that smug confidence? Kid, <laughs> maybe. Gengar, everything you said was completely wrong. Lewis had nothing to do with it. Lewis was innocent. Yeah. What? what? Is that true? Yep, we met Nine Tails and asked. Lewis isn't a human from the legend. We're back because we we d discovered the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not so tough now, are you, dude? Okay, wh wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you are going to make that claim, let's see some proof. P proof? That's right, some hard evidence. Okay, let's see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof? We don't have any proof. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, fuck off, dude. Okay, it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so we could get rid of you easier. How convenient and foolish. Now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Lewis. <laughs> it's not working, is it? What's wrong, what's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to be rid of Lewis? I... I always believed in Lewis. You don't fool me. Here. I... I'm out. I was saved by Lewis's team before. I joined the chase with a heart, heavy heart because of your urging. But I simply can't think of Lewis being a bad in any way. Yeah. I've heard... I've heard enough too. I believe Lewis. Yeah, that's alright. Who needs proof? Yeah. Hit <laughs> everyone. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> hey, what are you at? Oh, it's... Some paper! Some paper. What? What is this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it aloud. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Lewis is innocent. Lewis met the Nine Tails under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that it had nothing to do with the human in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious. At the end. Yeah. You rotten. Yeah. R run. <laughs> run for it. Stop, you liar. You conned us. You conned us. Yeah, that asshole. You chase that asshole and kill him. Welcome back. Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. Sniffle. I'm so glad. Lewis isn't suspected anymore. Yep, I'm glad too. We won't have to keep running from anyone anymore. Lewis? We're both exhausted. I'm going to go get some sleep. Our rescue team gets revived tomorrow. Let's try to do our best. Hell yeah, let's get back to rescuing. The rescue team members dispersed. So now we have Absol with us on our rescue team. That's cool. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll be finding out what's going on next in the story. Find out what we got to do. So, yeah, until then, this is MDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.